my name is Agatha and this is your monthly astrological forecast. This is a very general uh, reading. If you like a private consultation with me, a tarot or astrology consultation, please go to my services page, the link is below, and see my rates. Then if you'd like to work with me, just send an email to duniazad.gmail.com. Also, you can support me through my Patreon page, the link is also below. Before going to the reading, I'd like to tell you that I have a newsletter and if you subscribe, uh, you can win my monthly free tarot reading. The link is www.tinyletter.com dash tuniazad. All my readings are written by me. They are all written down. Uh, there is no software readings, okay? I write them myself. So, Pisces, let's see how March will be for you. This is going to be very uh, basic. I'm only, I'm only going to speak of the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse, Pisces. Uh, the solar eclipse happens at 18 degrees and 56 minutes of Pisces on the 8th or 9th of March 2016, and the lunar eclipse uh, happens uh, on 3 degrees and 17 minutes of Libra on the 23rd of March 2016. So, what does this mean for you, Pisces? This is more relevant for those who have uh, the rising sign in Pisces, though it's relevant also for, for anyone who has the sun, the moon uh, in Pisces. Uh, if you have something around this degree, between the 15, 15 degrees of Pisces and 20 degrees of Pisces, this is 20, 21, 22, this is re really relevant for you. Um, it's going to happen on your first, first house, also depends. Let's say you have your rising sign um, in Pisces in the 27 degrees of Pisces. So, your first house begins at 27 degrees of Pisces, therefore this, this solar eclipse will be happening in your 12th house, not not your first, okay? So it, it's, it's different. So uh, this is a new beginning for you, but uh, solar eclipses really speak of something new that is entering our life and it's a theme which will be really relevant and present for you for the next six months. However, at the same time, this solar eclipse happens conjunct the south node in Pisces, the transiting south node in Pisces. Wherever the south node transits, it uh, um, in your in our natal chart, it speaks of something we need to let go in, in order for something new to, to happen and to enter our, our life. So the solar eclipse uh, uh, speaks of two different uh, of two things that might be happening more or less at the same time. You will be abandoning an old way of being, of thinking so you can uh, of of who you are so you can um, uh, transform yourself so you can open up to a new life to a new you an old you dies metaphorically so that a new you can uh, be born uh, so this is a, this is a really a complete renewal of yourself uh, and it's more than just changing your diet and changing your wardrobe and changing the color of your hair or your haircut it uh, speaks more of much more of that uh, um, it goes beyond those things to me it speaks more of like an inner spiritual renewal renewal do you understand an inner spiritual transformation uh, and you can uh, express this for instance uh, in in, in an artistic way you can express it in an artistic way um, also this might speak of some sort of health issues I'm not saying that's going to happen but uh, if it happens it will work in your benefit even if it's felt in a, in a negative way it will transform you it will make you someone different and even someone better someone more responsible someone who knows how to structure his or her life uh, and at the same time still live his or her dreams so you there's something really nice and good that might be lived in a negative way or might be lived in a very difficult way but it's something ultimately very good for you it's a, a renewal of yourself a, trans a full transformation of who you are uh, and this solar eclipse is going to happen um, uh, opposing the, the, the Jupiter in, in the sev seventh house, which is the house of your partner. So wife, husband, 
uh, and it's going to be square the tenth house, which is the, the career, the vocation, the profession. So there might be in positions new d during the next six months. There might be some sort of changes in your work environment, not environment in, in your work, in your profession, in your career. Maybe your career uh, and vocation becomes more and more demanding, um, and uh, demands more and more st structure out of you. Uh, also, uh, there might be something expanding in your husband or wife's life. Now, this could be a good thing or this could be a bad thing. Let's say that your, uh, the, way your, the life of your spouse might be changing. So, let's say he or she has a big break. And uh, this might mean that he or she is transformed. So, you might want to... Uh, 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 accompany the, ter the transformation, I'm speaking more of an inner transformation of your uh, wife or husband and decide to, both of you to grow together or this transformation might be yours and your spouse might not be a company, accompanying you in this transformation. So maybe in some cases might be that there's a divorce and um, so the, the a new relationship can come to you which is more aligned with your new self, with your new you. No, it might not necessarily be that, okay? So maybe an, you keep, you and your spouse are still together uh, and both of you have really big, uh, how do you say, responsibilities and duties in terms of your career, your profession, um, but you decide to work on that relationship so you can work together, so you can w um, grow together. So there's a new, uh, an old way of relating to your spouse that leaves, that exit, exits both of your existence, uh, your lives, and there's a new way to relate to your spouse. This, this, this does not necessarily mean an ending an, or a divorce, okay? So to me, it's more structured, structuring, Structuring your dreams uh, in your work life and who you are. This is kind of difficult for a Pisces, but it's what is required of you. And, and then um, the, so the lunar eclipse happens on the third, I'm sorry, on th three degrees of Libra, three degrees and 17 min minutes of Libra. In your case, Pisces, where does it happen? In the eighth house. So, many ways of reading this. Uh, so I'm going to give all the possible explanations or manifestations. I'm not saying all of them are going to happen to you. This is depends from chart to chart. So the lunar eclipse uh, speaks of something that exits our life, that ends, or a culmination, a culmination of a project, for instance. Uh, this doesn't. It's not necessarily an ending. It's a culmination of something. So. Uh, could be, for instance, let's say this might not speak of you because the eighth house is the uh, the house of shared resources, the money that you have with your spouse or with your business partner, for instance. Something happening, something very good is happening in the the, the life. Could be good, could be bad. Let's let's say it's good in the the life of your spouse, husband or wife. He or she got, gets a new job, and suddenly you have more money. Both of you have more money. Oh my God, you're so happy. Um, so it could be that, or it could be something completely different, like uh, your spouse is not telling you that he or she is getting into a lot of credit debt. So suddenly there's all this debt that comes to you that in, both, in, in this, this money, this spot of shared resources gets less because he or she, your spouse, uh, just uh, spent a lot of money on the credit, on the credit card. And you, then you need to work together to pay, to pay this debt for the next, the next six months. So you might work with an institution or an entity to work out a payment plan so this debt could be uh, resolved. It could be your debt also, not, not necessarily your, spou your spouse. Um, the renewal and the transformation could be in your sex life. So you might be uh, changing your intimate life uh, with your spouse if you have a spouse 
or with a, a boyfriend or girlfriend or even if you don't have a, a, a long-term relationship the way you view sex and the way you practice it or the way you are intimate changes some, some, uh, some way and you might be experimenting for the next next six months this new experimentation could be again if you don't have anyone with whomever or it could be with your spouse the way you are intimate with each other changes somehow could be a bit more spiritual could be you know you could be trying out something like tantra or something like that or caressa for instance check out caressa it's the, the site it's reunite reuniting.info okay reuniting.info check out that site uh, what else? It could be that you get suddenly a uh, inheritance. Someone dies, and this is like and you get like a message out of the blue, and you've inherited something. Um, I hope that I mean, uh, I hope no one dies, of course. But it could be that it could be even like you win a very substantial uh, lottery prize. You know, it could be that not not something like fifteen million dollars or euros or whatever because the, the ruler of Libra is Venus and Venus is located in your first house again this depends from chart to chart and it's making a square to Saturn so Saturn limits and Venus also speaks of money so if you won win a prize it could be it's not like 10 million it could be like 10,000 euros or 10,000 dollars or could be 50,000 dollars or could be 80,000 dollars but it's something substantial that might help you it doesn't need to be a big amount it might help you a lot for the next six months um, and also you could be ending credit cards so let's say there's there's uh, you've been noticing lately that, that there's a lot of that there's a lot of expenses you and your spouse have a lot of expenses let's say you your spouse gets this great new job like, but he needs to travel to it like uh, it's a very long distance and it's like two hours a day by car and he needs to go there by car so it, it ends up or or it's nothing to do with the job like this this great new opportunity or even he's studying something that will increase the money he earns like a few like a year later or something like that but he needs to take this course so he needs to go to this place or she needs to go to this place it could be your wife and needs to take the car and you you spending a lot of money in in, in in fuel and so you could have like a conversation with your spouse like what can we cut from our uh, from from our shared expenses what can we cut uh, so that uh, we have money for everything so you might be cutting something to do with that gives you pleasure let's say you have Netflix you know to get and, and you see movies or so you don't need that I'm gonna cut that um, let's say you went out like twice no, four times a, a month to go out and eat or you go out to see the movies or you go out to see a theater, theater play all of that is cut so no you can we cannot afford that or it could be like a credit card you don't need you have like four credit cards and you get rid of three and you only keep one it could be like that also it could be also that anything relating to taxes might be changing so you uh, there's like kind of an expected change so you thought that you were going to pay taxes this amount because it's always been this amount and suddenly it's this amount and you had no idea uh, so something relating to taxes might be changing um, okay so these are several possibilities it depends from chart to chart that's it Pisces this is all that I have for you